hello everyone how to simplify this nice algebraic expression so if we have 9 to the power of 7 minus 9 to the power of 6 so here in this problem uh, we cannot use the calculator or calculator is not allowed in this problem uh, i can do all of the working on this page okay uh, so here the very first step we are going to do is here first we uh, rewrite this uh, algebraic expression as you see here the, uh, uh, the exponent of 9 is 7 and we write it as 9 to the power of uh, uh, 6 plus 1 minus this is 9 to the power of 6 okay so here we uh, need an exponential law you know that if you have a to the power of m plus n equals to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n so here according to this exponent law we break the exponent of these two terms and it will be written as 9 to the power of 6 multiplied by 9 to the power of 1 minus 9 to the power of 6 so here you see that if we will take common 9 to the power of 6 then the remaining terms are here you get 9 only minus when you take common this 9 to the power of 6 then you get here 1 only okay so here we need uh, more simplifications and we write it as uh, this is 9 to the power of 6 multiplied by 9 minus 1 equals to 8 okay so now here we need to focus on this term and we have uh, 9 to the power of 6 and we write this 9 as 3 square and its exponent is 6 and it is multiplied by 8. So further we use here another exponent law you know that if you have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n. So here we apply this nice exponent law so according to this exponent law we need to multiply these two exponents and it will be written as 3 to the power of 2 times of 6 becomes here 12 and it is multiplied by 8 okay so further you see here we uh, again uh, rewrite this expression as in this form we write 3 to the power of 12 as 3 to the power of 6 and its whole square multiplied by 8 so now here our next target is to find the uh, value of uh, 3 to the power of 6. So you know that 3 to the power of 6 means that uh, we multiply 3 on 6 times. Okay, in this way. Here we multiply 3 by 6 times. So you can multiply uh, these three sixes uh, by traditional method of multiplication and you easily get this value okay you see here three three is a nine and nine three is a 27 27 three is a 81 81 three is a here when you multiply three by 81 uh, then you get here 243 and 243 multiplied by 3 this is the smallest multiplication you can easily do this multiplication on your page okay or in your mind so you have 243 times of 7 equals to 729 so uh, now it means that the product of these six threes equals to 729 so now we replace this 3 to the power of 6 equals to 729 so that uh, the above expression is written as 729 to the power of whole square multiplied by 8. So here again we need to focus on this base and here our base is 729 so we write this 729 as 700 plus 29 and its whole square and it is multiplied by 8. So further in the next step here we need uh, algebraic formula you know that if we have a plus b whole square it is equals to a square plus 2 times of a b plus b square here we need this nice formula and you see here uh, here our a is equals to 700 our b equals to 29 so it means that uh, uh, 
then you can expand a plus b whole square so we will use this nice formula okay so according to uh, this formula uh, we write this expression as uh, we write it as 700 square plus this is two times of ab so here our a is 700 and our b is 29 plus b square so b is 29 square and it is multiplied by 8 okay so now here we need to do this multiplication uh, so here first we find the square of 700 and you know that the square of 7 equals to 49 and uh, the square of 2 0 means that you can just double these zeros we can write 4 0 here and plus and here you can multiply 2 times of 700 this is 2 7 of 14 and we write these two zeros here it will become 1400 and it is multiplied by 29 and here uh, you easily find the square of 29 uh, it means that you just do this multiplication on your page by traditional method of multiplication so that uh, you can multiply 29 by 29 and you get here 841 and it is multiplied by 8 okay so now in the next step we have uh, an other multiplication on these two terms so we first write it as 4 9 and 4 zeros plus here when you multiply uh, 1400 by 29 then you get here 40600 and plus 841 multiplied by 8. So now in the next step here we need uh, to add all of these uh, values by traditional method of addition. So it means that uh, uh, we add all these values here we write it here as 4 9 and 4 zeros and we add these values here 0 0 6 0 4 and at the last we add 1 4 and 8 okay so further we need to uh, add these values so you have 0 0 1 equal 1 these are 4 8 plus 4 8 plus 6 14 we uh, write 4 and carry 1 this will becomes 1 9 plus 4 13 we write 3 and carry 1 1 plus 4 equals 5 okay so this will becomes 53 uh, 5 3 1 double 4 and 1 so you see here it is multiplied by 8 uh, it means that we need to uh, multiply uh, this value by 8 okay uh, now we multiply this value by 8 and you get the final simplified form of the given algebraic expression so you know that 8 1s are 8 8 4s are 32 we write 2 and carry 3 and 8 4s are 32 32 plus 3 35 we write 5 and carry 3 8 1s are 8 plus 3 11 we write 1 and carry 1 8 3s are 24 plus 1 25 we write 5 and carry 2 8 5s are 40 and 40 plus 2 becomes 42 okay so finally we have uh, the uh, simplification of the given expression that is 9 to the power of 7 minus 9 to the power of 6 equals to 4 2 5 1 5 2 8 this is the our final simplified form of the given algebraic expression and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos